This is the list of terms on three appropriate models for vision. First of all, we have uh, the eyelids, which are called the palpebrae, or palpebra for singular. Next, we have the lacrimal gland. Note that on the lateral superior side of the eye, there is this kind of chunky yellow tissue uh, that is representing a gland. Um, so that is the lacrimal gland. It makes tears. The tears drain over the surface of the eyes and ultimately through this right here, uh, which goes into your nasal cavity. We can also see the lacrimal gland on this larger eye model right here. Uh, note that this is a right eye and on the lateral superior side, we can see the lacrimal gland. It's actually associated with this muscle right up here, uh, which is responsible for elevating your superior eyelid. Um, so that muscle will be called levator palpebrae superioris. All right, next, uh, we have the extrinsic eye muscles. All right, so if we remove this upper muscle right here, which is responsible for controlling the eyelid. We can see that on the eye, there are actually several muscles that are attaching to the outside of the eye or the more superficial surface of the eye. Okay. Uh, so there are actually two different groups of muscles. Um, there's one, two, three way back here and four. Uh, these muscles are all called rectus muscles because if we take a look over here, um, they go straight back to the skull over here. So on the top, on the superior side, we had the superior rectus. Over here, we had the lateral rectus. Okay. Closest to the nose over here, we have the medial rectus. And all the way up underneath here, we have the inferior rectus. Now there are two more muscles. These are called oblique muscles. and. Um, they are oblique because they go at some kind of wacky angle. So here we have an inferior oblique. And up here, we can see a superior oblique. And actually, this muscle is part of the same thing. Okay, so we can see it's going at some kind of a wacky angle. It actually passes through this, which is called a trochlea, to actually attach to the surface of the eye. Okay. We can also see those same muscles over here. Right, on this smaller eye model, so bigger eye model and smaller eye model. Right. Once again, we have the superior oblique, the superior rectus, the lateral rectus. If we look underneath here, we can see the inferior oblique, inferior rectus, and way over here closest to the nose is the medial rectus. Okay. Uh, we can also see on the eyes that there are going to be a couple different layers. And I'm only going to show you on this one because it's easy to get apart. Um, there's an outermost layer. There's an inner layer. And if we continue to take that apart, we can see that there are, there's another layer inside as well. Okay, so we're just going to walk through those layers. Um, on the outside, uh, what we have is called uh, the fibrous tunic. So this is the entire most superficial layer of your eye, the white part. So the white of your eye is called the sclera. Okay, so the structure is sclera. The layer is going to be the fibrous tunic. Um, all the way to the front here, we can see there's this clear region of the fibrous tunic. That clear region is called the cornea. And that's essentially where you would put a contact lens. That's where light actually enters into your eye. All right, next. We have the vascular tunic, and vascular implies that there are lots of blood vessels involved, and so if we spin this around a little bit, we can see that indeed there are a lot of blood vessels on this brown layer. Okay, so the layer is the tunic. Um, the brown structure that makes up most of the vascular tunic, so this back here, is called the choroid. Okay, the iris is to the front that uh, is where the color of your eye is. It's actually a muscle. Um, the hole in the middle here, um, that is your pupil. So again, that's where light is going to pass through. And if we open the model up, what we can see is um, the lens. Right, so this actually is the lens of the eye. We can change its shape in order to focus it on the appropriate region of the inner eye. Okay, so that is technically considered to be part of the vascular tunic. Okay. Now, if we look deeper inside the eye, 
right, we see that there is this kind of tan layer right here. All right, that tan layer is the third and last layer that we're going to talk about. That is called the nervous tunic. Um, the structure within the nervous tunic that uh, incorporates all of the photoreceptors of your eyes, so actually like detecting the light, uh, that is called the retina. So this entire surface down here would be called the retina, but there are a few key features of the retina which you should be familiar with. Um, first of all, we have the optic disc, and that is right here. The optic disc is essentially your blind spot. It's where all of your nerves and blood vessels are going to enter slash exit your eye. Um, also, this little pink dot right here, uh, we can call two different things uh, for our purposes. That is the macula lutea and the fovea centralis. Okay, so that's essentially where um, your color vision, like high acuity cells, are concentrated because that is where um, images that are directly in front of you are actually focused. Okay, so again, this entire layer is called the nervous tunic. This here is the optic disc. This is the macula lutea and um, you know, the structure back here that includes all of your photoreceptors that is called the retina. Okay, a couple more structures that we should know about. Um, in reality, this layer of the eye is lined up in this way. So you can see that the nervous, or sorry, the optic disc is going to allow nerves to exit out this structure right here. Um, this here is the optic nerve, also called cranial nerve number two. Okay. Um, finally, the eye uh, contains two different compartments. There's a posterior compartment, right, which contains a fluid, um, almost like a jello cons consistency. Um, that fluid is called the vitreous humor, and that's what this little clear thing is representing right here. Right, and anterior to the eye, right, there's actually going to be a little cavity in between your lens and the cornea. Right? And so that space is filled up with another type of fluid that is called the aqueous humor.